Hey guys, what's up? This is AJ. Hey man, today we're going to install the um, billet aluminum throttle. And um, I'm going to show you all this uh, fuel cap that I ordered from STV Powerworks, Power Sports. I will tell you the exact place I ordered it from in the description. Uh, um, I don't remember, but it's STV, I know that. But anyway, it's a billet aluminum machined uh, fuel cap. Now, it's got the big old O-ring. I hope y'all can see that. It's got the oversized O-ring in it. I've had it on already, but I figured I'd take it off and show y'all because I never got a chance to show you. But uh, anyway, we're going to change out the thumb throttle, and all you're going to need is a little ratchet. Uh, I mean, you could probably use a drill to take them out, but I wouldn't use a drill to put them back in. The plastic will strip. Uh, you're going to need a Torx bit, T, um, T15 Torx bit, and just an old regular um, screwdriver. Phillips head so anyway I almost got three of them out so I'm gonna continue right here we had to stop the video because well I stopped the video for whatever reason I don't know why here you go hold that son and I keep it right in here and don't hit the button like I did still recording okay see when we get the GoPro we'll be able to edit out all this extra talking nobody likes to hear all that crap unless you got a fun you know a um Plus, it's not working. You need to know. Well, I mean, if you got a, uh, you know, a, a outtakes. Now, I love watching them outtakes. Those are funny, especially uh, Chad on Dirt Obsession. He's really funny. So, anyway. So, after you get those out, just pull your cap off. All right, now, you're going to take this Phillips bit out right here, the screw. All right, and when you're doing that, you're gonna have to hold down on this this little device that uh, holds the the um, the cable. But this one is a cable. This is not a drive-by wire. This is cable. One thousands have the drive-by wire. Of course, they got the three different fuel maps. So, all right, just kind of hold it steady. It's gonna move a little bit. Love magnetic. Just hold it and just kind of, well, I was going to say give it a little tug. Now, there is an O-ring washer that's jammed up in here. Well, it's actually right here at the very end now. Sometimes it comes off, sometimes it don't. Just make, if it comes off, make sure you put it back on your new one. All right. Let's get this off before we do a comparison. What the hell am I doing? Are you hold? Are you video one, please? Okay. Thanks, son. Stop laughing. You're gonna get me laughing. All right. So as far as height, thickness. I mean, they're about on point. The issue I had last time was, well, at first I wasn't getting it flush down here, but. I tightened it down a little bit more and it got flush. You know, it's very fine thread. So anyway, with it like this, push it up in there. Now, it's not flush now, but that's as far as it's gonna go. So what we're gonna do, let's go ahead and put our screw in. Remember, hold all this together. Don't let this stuff come out. You got a spring and everything else in there. Just watch it at the bottom. Just point down there where it's coming up so they can see it getting flush. Right right in there, Tristan. It, look through look, look the camera. Make sure you're getting it. Okay. Ready? Yeah. All right. So she's on. All right. Let's go ahead and put everything else back on. Just line your cap back up. Thank you, sir. Okay. 
Come on, man. By the way, you don't have to take these all the way out. You get them out so far and the cap and all will come off, which is probably what I should have done. Sure, there's no torque specs on here, and if it was, good God, it couldn't be much like five inch pound or something. But anyway, so right here, don't look, this is the reason I took it off. It may be some, it may be nothing, it may be something, I'm not sure, you know. Um, but I just kind of hate that little bit of slack right there, and it, it may not be nothing. Uh, the OEM, when you put it back in, there's there's none of that. And I've questioned myself to maybe I don't have it in right, but the only other way to, the, 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 you know, it would go in is when you line them up and like it may be over here, when you line them studs up, or it, it's too far over here. This is, this is where it sits, but I just, I'm not too in, it's just too loose. And it may be the one I got. It There's probably other brands out there, you know, that, some of these bigger companies are making that are probably a lot better and anyway if you can tell the red color it doesn't match the red like you know which is on the the machine like this one on my gas cap you know it's damn close and this you can tell this is more of a i don't know a royal well yeah kind of yeah i guess you'd say that yeah kind of like a a wine red, a, a crimson red or something. So anyway, let's take it over to the fuel. All right. So anyway, we're just gonna take the old one off. Keep that, that one up and this one just goes on. Now I will say something about this one. I, you know, the way it's been cut, seeing them see machined, man, you ain't just gonna grab it start twisting it too tight because it hurts i mean it's sharp around here but uh it's on there it makes a damn good seal i done shook the piss out of this boiler the other day you know that last video y'all saw i mean i ain't seen no you know gas you know residual gas spilling from or nothing like that it does what it's supposed to do and they had some other ones that were vented right here and they look nice so uh i just you know I seen this one and I liked it without the vent because the gas is vented anyway, as far as as far as I know, somewhere. I hadn't really took this thing apart and really looked at it. I plan to do that after the warranty expires on it because um, right now I can't do anything with a clutch kit, um, anything with a transmission, and there's something else that um, I can't. do. Oh, the exhaust. I can't do nothing with the exhaust until after the warranty's over with. I should probably just say heck with it and do it anyway but i'm just gonna go ahead and wait for the warranty i ain't got that much longer on the warranty anyway so then i plan on doing an rjwc i think i think that that's the plans i think that's what i want to go with and maybe uh i don't know whatever the best clutch kit is out there man y'all had to give me some ideas